So basically what we're looking for is we want you to pull the slack out of the bar. And I know that's just like a term kind of thrown around. Uh, so basically what that means is when you go down to the bar, um, there's two or three ways to, I guess, pull the slack out. And the way I do it as a sumo puller, because of just basically the stance and the mechanics of sumo, I use my lats and my arms to pull the slack out. Um, I can send you a few videos of that if you want in slow-mo, but essentially for me, at first, and then we're gonna go towards conventional so you can kind of get an idea of the different ways to do it. When you go down, it's basically, um, you grab the bar, except I'm anchoring myself in by rotating and kind of ro almost rowing with just your back. You're pulling the slack out of the bar and the slack will, the bar will bend. So what that looks like is, basically what that is, is um, you're trying to pull all the, how do you say, I don't want to use the word slack, but you want to pull the bar so it starts to bend before you actually pull it away. One way you know you're doing it right is when you pull, the weight will kind of clink at first, and then you pull, but when you pull, it doesn't clink. Um, assuming you have tight clips, of course. So, sorry, I'm out of breath. It's just a four by eight. And uh, so for conventional, right, You there's probably two ways. There's a third way, but we're just gonna go with two ways to pull the slack out. One, you can use your lats, just like I did, right? So you set up, load your hips, load your knees, same thing. One, see how it kind of, I'm pulling myself into it and the bar is already bending before I pull. So with your lats again, it's kind of like a rotation and pull back. Not an up, it's not a shrug, it's like a, it's almost going like this with rotation, and that's actually gonna, boom, pull the slack out of the bar. So conventional, pulling the slack out of the bar with lats, looks like this. Except you're actually gonna grab the bar evenly on like that. Man, I'm out of breath. So the other way to do it unconventional and with sumo, but it's a lot easier with uh, conventional, is you can kind of hip drop or wedge yourself in, and that's actually exactly what you did on your first rep of your top set today with the 240, I think it was. So, man, I just need a second to catch my breath, I'm sorry. So basically, <laughs> um, if you have your lats locked in from the initiation without pulling the slack to the lats, you can pull it through the wedging of your hips and your knees and keeping your back straight. Basically like a fulcrum, right? So what's gonna happen is if your arms are here, you're gonna grab the bar, you're gonna use your hips and your body to wedge yourself in and the bar's gonna wanna pop off the ground a little bit. And really that's what we're looking for. So what that might look like is, I'm gonna try to grab it relatively evenly. I'm not a conventional puller, so like my conventional's gonna look really shitty, just ignore that. Basically, same thing, load your hips, load everything. When you go down, you're already locked before the bar, right? You're already locked in. Grab the bar, you wedge your hips up, right? But you're already using your whole body. Slack, tight, right? And that's what you're gonna do. So it's gonna be like a half tug, like a pull, and then you're gonna wedge yourself in. The bar is going to want to leave the ground just from that, so it's like a... So what you were doing is actually a little more Yankee, uh, yanking, I guess. And what that looks like is, I may as well show you. What you were doing, first rep, awesome, like we just did, right? Uh, second, third, fourth rep, not the best. So what uh, you were doing is, you were just kind of loosey-goosey and you are just kind of like and then you were strong enough to catch the, catch the weight and pull it up, right? I can't actually show you because my back is going to explode. So 
basically your third, fourth rep was like, you went down, grabbed the bar, but there was no uh, pulling of the slack. You went down, just kind of like that. This is not what we want. We want everything loaded. Uh, braced, glutes, which you're good at, knees, load your hamstrings, load your hamstrings, load your hamstrings. Pull a little bit slack, brace, and wedge yourself in, just like that. Uh, give that a try. I think next week we're gonna start um, half pulls and pauses, so good luck with that. Sorry if this is really awkward, I'm so out of breath.